going to class and then I just checked the schedule and realized that the class is full so I might not be going to class. We shall see. <laughs> That's all right. I'm starting to get used to it. I think I'll survive. I met you in the summer when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another. to myself now and then i'll try to laugh but i'll cry a bit as well i was never any good at being away from you i met you in the summer Class was good. I went back to a routine class because I haven't done like a routine class in a while and I thought I was doing good up until the very end of the routine when it got real hard and I'm like oh so gotta practice that. They said they were gonna teach that routine for a couple more classes so maybe I could bounce back in in the middle of the week or not. I don't know. Woke up this morning feeling kind of cabin feverish like I just wanted to go outside and do something else even though like I really did need to sit and work on my computer so I was doing that but started kind of feeling a little stir crazy so figured let me just go to Venice and go to the beach anyway even though driving here takes way too long and parking also takes way too long although I avoided paying ten dollars in parking I did find street parking still have to walk about a mile <laughs> to get to the beach but it's a beautiful day weather's nice it's like 70 over on this side and my side of the hill it's like 90 <laughs> so it's all good i'm enjoying my day so far just realized i've never seen the venice canals i've heard about them didn't realize how close they were so now i'm checking that out this place is gorgeous these people who live in these homes are so lucky because it's beautiful. Although the canals seem to be low, probably because of the drought. We always have a drought. But, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Not gonna lie, I feel real jealous. These homes are so cute and pretty, and this place just seems visually so lovely. I mean, I imagine it's probably a lot of maintenance, but oh, it's so pretty. Not bad for a reference photo day. Everything's pretty. Let's go 
a dance class and, and take your mind off of applying for work for months and not finding a full-time job yet and no one's responded. So let's just dance this out, huh? Yeah. Drive a faster car, lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fire, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. So try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. drive a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Ah, so that was good. Nice to get it all out. It was a very pinchy class, lots of like pinchy, pinchy moves. You see the the bruising already starting to happen. Um yeah, yeah. Let's go home, freshen up, and look for more jobs and work on art and do this. Let's get re-motivated and try not to freak out about being able to pay bills. <sighs> By the way, I have a Patreon if you guys want to help support this vlog, keep it going, all of that. I'd like to continue to be able to keep paying for classes. So yeah, yeah, I'll link it in a card or in the description below. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's Saturday, yay! I'm not really doing anything exciting today except do Postmates runs to try to make a little extra cash. Mm. And, and then I think I might go to a concert thing tonight that was relatively cheap, so I'm gonna go do that too. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Trying to stay busy, staying busy, doing work, all that stuff. Okay, so I spent about four hours on the road doing deliveries. I only got four deliveries, and each one of those is about four dollars, sometimes five a delivery. And and yeah, so it's kind of meh. If there was more an hour, it wouldn't be so bad, at least. But mm, plus, nobody tipped. At least so far, maybe they'll tip later. Yeah, it'd be nice if, if people deliver, you know, tipped immediately so I can see what's going on. Anyway, I got a couple hours before the concert, so maybe I'll do something else that might be a little bit more profitable, which is paint butts. I'm gonna do those again. Right, it's evening. I'm gonna go to this show. It's supposed to be Dan Deacon and it's a dance thing. So I'm gonna go dance my butt off, have a good time, just enjoy myself. Should be good. Yeah. If uh, the person in the fanciful shirt who's not Mason could face this way, Woo! and the person in the fanciful shirt who's Mason could face this way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a group interpretive dance. 
Now, if all of us, including the two people in the middle of the room, could take one knee down to the ground for a final time, just, just one knee down to the ground for a final time. <laughs> Thought of as one human body. The person in the center will be the brain, the rest of us on the sides, the muscles and the bones and, and all the parts that react to all the brain's impulses and bad decisions. So people in the center, try to do movements that large groups of people can actually achieve because as you move your arms, they're gonna move their arms. As you move up, they move up. As you move down, they move down. Hive mind, menta hive mind. it's a hive mind mentality. So what we're going to do, as soon as the song begins, we're all going to run as quickly as we can possibly can towards Duncan. And we're all just going to high-five as if Duncan's like this magnet of high-fives. And Duncan, if you could raise your hands so everyone knows that you're Duncan. That's Newman, but I've been calling him Duncan since 2006. So, so let's get in our sprinter's positions, our sprinter's positions. We know the Olympics are coming to Los Angeles next month, so let's get ready. And as soon as the song begins, I'll count you in. Oh, and the first person to high-five everybody in the room is going to live forever. It's a terrible burden, so make sure you don't high-five everyone, or you're going to watch everyone you know come and go for the next countless generations. You're going to see all, it's just going to be a, an abysmal time. So just make sure you high-five everyone except for one person. And oh, and could everyone show uh, everyone else their, their human hands? So this... High fives are given exclusively to other human hands. Anything else is called assault. Don't, um, don't high five anything except other human hands. Um, all right, let's see if this works. This song's called Feel the Lightning, and I'll count you in. is a really fun show. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I have never experienced anything quite like that. It's it's EDM, but not the kind of EDM that I've ever listened or experienced before. It's like pure joy. Yeah. I didn't know this whole thing was like a big corporate sponsorship thing for Hyundai or whatever and BuzzFeed. That part was really, really good. Also, I got my aura taken, my aura photo. If you don't know, like this is like a trendy thing to do in LA. These things usually cost 40 bucks. I just got this for free, so I'm really stoked. It's supposed to be like, you put your hands on some sensors and they take a photo and it's supposed to be a picture of your current aura. Yeah. Yeah, mine, when I got mine and the lady looked at she was like, oh my God, you have a very bright one. And I was like, is that, is that good? Is that bad? What is that? Even though I'm pretty sure it's just like temperature or whatever with the film. I'll plug them. If you go to Halo Aura Graphic, go on their Instagram and you can see like what their other aura pictures look like. It's just a really cool picture. Like I just wanted that, but apparently the... The yellow, they tell you what it is, and I have all the yellows and some greens. It's like horoscope. Honestly, everything on here, whatever color you get, is a pretty positive thing. It's cool. Either way, I got a really cool picture. And if auras are a thing, and that's what mine looks like, then that's pretty, I'll take it. That's pretty dope. It's Sunday, soccer Sunday, yay! And World Cup's been going on, and I've been watching a bunch of games, so I feel inspired, but at the same time, not particularly motivated to go today because like my face still has memory of last game so uh, uh yeah i'm going to try not to play forward but that doesn't mean someone can't hit you with the ball in your face hmm.
so we lost three to one this time it wasn't a blowout uh yeah however i didn't let the ball hit my face this time did not let it happen it was a moment it could have happened and i threw my hands up right in front of my face i did like double fist like nope and they definitely should have called a handball ref saw it too and didn't because i guess he realized i was literally just going not my face <laughs> and they kept the play going so meh. i mean we lost anyway so it doesn't matter but i was very proud of myself for 100 percent just being instinctually like nope <laughs> nope 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 so yeah hopefully hopefully next game will be better um in the meantime i'll see you guys next week it is a miracle you don't understand these two never sit together on their own without me being involved in some way. Oh my gosh, babies. Oh my gosh. It only took three.